welcome back! If you live abroad, abroad means that you live in a different country. So you live abroad and you live in a place where you have to learn English and speak English and you are with your family living abroad or maybe you don't live abroad but people in your family speak a bit of English or maybe someone in your family is fluent in English. That happens too. We never know. And you really, really want to start speaking English at home with your family. So, my first language is Portuguese. I'm Brazilian and I moved to England when I was a teenager with my family. My mom, my dad and my two younger brothers. And obviously, myself and my brothers quickly started to learn English because we went to school. So my mom and my dad really wanted us to speak English at home with them to help them practice English. It's so much more difficult for adults, for grown-ups to learn another language than it is for children. Obviously, that's a fact. So we wanted to do that. Well, they wanted us to do that. And we tried. We tried once twice, once, twice, mm. and it was never really working. It was so difficult for us to talk in English because we are a family and we always talked in Portuguese to each other. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips about how you can actually speak English at home if you have people that speak or want to learn more English in your house. There is something really crazy that happens that is when you know someone and you establish a relationship with that person, that could be anything. It could be a member of your family, a love relationship, a friendship, it doesn't matter. You meet someone and automatically you establish a relationship with them in a specific language. Yeah, so for instance, I was raised, because when you're a baby and then a child and then a teenager and you were raised, I was raised um, with my family talking to me in Portuguese my whole life. So my relationship with my mom, my dad and my brothers was built in Portuguese. When that happens, guys, it's really, really hard to switch, to change to another language because you have already established a relationship with that person in Portuguese. Same goes for my children. I have two kids and I only ever spoke to my kids in English. I never spoke to them in Portuguese. So for that reason, I have established a relationship with my children in English. So if one day, for whatever reason, I decide that I want to talk to them in Portuguese, mm, it's going to be really strange because I have to change everything, the dynamics of the relationship. So, how are you going to speak English at home with people that are close to you in another language? It's so hard, what are you going to do? Relax! The best way to do it is to make it a daily practice. So do it every day. If you decide that you just want to speak English with your husband, for example, or your wife or your boyfriend, doesn't matter. Do that. Say to each other that you're going to do it every single day, that you're going to do it for one specific time, so you allocate a time, a slot in the day where this is going to happen. And you allocate um, an activity, something that will be happening whilst you are talking in English to each other. So, for instance, you can say, all right, we usually have breakfast together at eight o'clock. We usually do that, we have breakfast together and then we go to work. So, during, like, for this time, say, from half past seven until half past eight, we are only going to talk in English with each other. And this is during the breakfast time. So we get breakfast together, we sit down, we eat, we talk in English, we clean up, 
all this is done in English. And then, fine, you go back to your natural language that you speak with each other. That way, you're doing it for a little bit of time every day, so it's not super complicated and tiring. Tiring is like when something makes you tired. So it's not complicated, it's not tiring, it's a short period, but it's every day and you know exactly when you're gonna do it. So it could be having breakfast, having lunch, having dinner together, or you never have meals together. That's okay. Every day at 9 p.m. we're gonna sit down for 45 minutes and we're going to talk about a specific topic in English. Anything stupid or anything really, really big and deep, meaningful, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you start to talk to each other a little bit every day so that you keep your relationship in your language. You don't have to change everything but then you give yourself and that person who lives with you a chance to practice. So, you know, there is always a way to adapt and to make things happen, but you have to find the right way. And that's why I'm here, yay! If you like this video, remember, click on like, share with your friends, leave a comment, love the comments, subscribe to this channel for more and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and good luck trying this technique. Let me know how it goes in the comments down below. Thank you. Bye.